Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of OMSI 2. Today we're having a look at the brand new Iveco Evades, which is the latest bus from uh, Helicon Studios and uh, and their mob. Uh, now this is the latest bus that they've released, it's an Iveco interurban sort of bus. I don't really know the Iveco range to be perfectly honest with you, we have the, uh, the low floor urban way and then we have the crossway LE which is like a crossway but low entry and then we have the crossway which is like a coach version of the crossway LE and then we have the Evades which is a coach version of the coach version of the... it's all getting very confusing isn't it? I don't really understand the, the range but it's nice, it looks good, it's £12.79 on the Steam store, there's a link in the description if you wish to go check that out. I didn't receive this free but uh, we've just had a week in uh, in Lanzarote where they've just got two brand new Evades coaches, uh, interurban buses sorry, and uh, oh this is new, got on, it was nice enough, uh, very much like a crossway but a bit taller and uh, then I came back and found this had been released. I'm like, wow, what are the chances? So I thought we'd take it for a spin. We're on St. Savannah, we're on the Route 25, and we're heading down to the Fontaine. Now, uh, I have got, uh, I've, I've got the ticket selling turned off just because it's just difficult, isn't it? Uh, so we're not going to be driving with ticket selling, but we don't really pick that many passengers up anyway. Now, compared to some of the other buses from Helicon, this one does seem rather... Um, there's a lot of textured bits, like it's it's quite low low quality around the front there, which was one thing you'll notice. The repaint is quite low quality as well. You know, you've kind of got all these these squarey bits here, and that's not my setting's been terrible. Uh, it seems like there's more work done on the textures than there is actually done on the model. Uh, you can also notice this particularly around the wheels. You can see all of these are textured on. Uh, you've got quite a few little lines there so it's actually quite poor quality on the outside but that might just be uh, oh look you can see there's an engine in there lovely uh, that might just be to save on the old frame rates so I don't know if there's any other panels we can open can we, can we open the side panels there no you're not for having it are you uh, we can open the doors with the emergency things nope that's not modeled that is also just textured on never mind uh, but having a look inside you'll notice the dash is actually not that bad it's quite good quality so I think that they might have done that with the outside just to save on frames so that they can make this look a little bit better having said that is that radio separate knobs no these are all just textures these are not buttons that's a shame because I've really really enjoyed oh good lord I've uh, I've really enjoyed the buses that these guys have uh, have cranked out before uh, so I'm hoping that this isn't a sign of a lower quality uh, in the future. Oh no, hang on, it's not uh, It's not one of the UK buses, is it? It's not E, 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 E. There we go, come on, let's get it on. I mean, the sounds are pretty decent, aren't they? Oh, hang on, what have we got? So we can have, we can have eight, nine, Lord knows what seven does. Right, well, we, we'll have eight then. We'll have a sort of half lighting shindig on. That's all well and good. Yeah, the sounds are pretty decent. I've never had a complaint when it comes to Halicom with their sounds. Uh, it does come with a Hoffos since the van. So let's see if it actually works. Because in the past, some of theirs haven't worked with the destinations. I've just typed it in there on the 92E. The Fontaine. There we go. Oh, lovely. It all works. Have we got some... Uh, oh, we can we can turn all our little orange lights on all the side. Should we have them on? Should we have that? No, it's daytime. We'll have them off. And uh, yeah, let's get going. Well, uh, it's an automatic gearbox. Is it ZF? Oh, what's it squawking at me about? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's a little bit lively, it has to be said. <coughs> Come on, everybody. On you get. We've got six minutes until departure, so I will just skip ahead a bit at that time. Anybody else coming? No. Now, what I do want to see is do the doors go up into the ceiling like they do in real life. So they close like that, and then they should go up. Yes, they do go up. That's modelled nicely. I like that. Little things like that. You know I like little things like that. They just make the game for me. Right, okay, off we go. I don't know why it's yelling at me. Have I, have I got like a set of doors open at the back or something? Nope. Lord knows. Also, I wonder, do the hazard lights come on when I open the door? Oh, now it's yelling at me because there's... Uh, oh, we get a nice little camera there, look. 
Lovely. I like that camera that comes on. That is fantastic. And you can't move by the looks of things while the doors are open. Clever. Right, let's try and get round here without, uh, right, without smashing it up the curb. 25 the Fontaine. Why are you beeping at me? Oh, right, you're beeping at me because I've not got my seatbelt on. Right, okay, well, we'll find a place to pull up and we shall deal with that. That's a nice little feature, isn't it? Right, okay, we'll fly down here. There is also a link if you uh, if you are wanting to get the map. It's not a bad little map, to be honest with you, for the money. Ooh, that's a bit of an odd uh, change down sound there. Not entirely convinced I like that. Right, here we go. There's a bus stop here, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll pull in here. There's handbrake on. Right, where's the seatbelt? There we go. Oh, so you click it and it disappears. It doesn't actually come round you. Right, okay. Are you going to stop squawking at me now? Nobody had that bus stop, is there? That'll do. In terms of the engine sounds, I, I don't think they sound bad. That retarder sound is absolutely ghastly, though, when you're braking. That's not good at all. Could do with a little bit of tweaking. Yeah, it's a bit of an odd one, is this? Because I was when I saw that Halicon had, had released another bus, the uh, the Ibeco Avedis, I was really, really looking forward to it. It just doesn't seem that... Oh, what, what's that noise? It doesn't seem that brilliant compared to the other ones. The Crossway is absolutely lovely to drive. I really do like the Crossway. But the engine sounds on this all just seem a little bit mismatch. You know, some of them are quite loud, some of them are really quiet. The overall engine sound is lovely. It's a lovely kind of hum. And it sounds very similar to the ones we rode on last week. Oh, a bit of thrash. It's certainly well suited to this map, it has to be said. Although, uh, I, I, I was a bit confused. Since the van, I thought it was in France. But then we've got this, this Palma d'Or. Palm d'Or. I, I thought it was a, a livery for the Palma map, to be perfectly honest with you. Although, they're by the same people. Maybe it is the same livery, I don't know. Oh, we're off the road here. Come on, back on the road, please. There we go. There we go, we'll nip under here. Will we fit under here? There's no low bridge signs. Obviously, if they don't have double deckers in, uh, in St. Savannah, it's not a problem, is it? Come on, you can make it up the hill. We appear to have fallen out of gear. Come on. Why are we... Why are we not going? Oh, there we go. We've found his gears again. Yeah, I don't know what we're happening there. Nobody to get off. Marcel cashing. Yeah, it wouldn't have mattered if we'd have had ticket selling on anyway. I mean, I'm assuming that the, the power button on their Maxol Series 9000, they actually have Wayfarers in Lanzarote, so you got the square tickets like what... Uh, oh, hang on. Yeah, that's good. You got the little square tickets, you know, like you used to get on first bus. Yeah, so you get a little... Right, so we're 45 seconds late. That's nice to have on there. We don't need our red text because of that, do we? We've got a, a ticket machine. Yeah, the money's in there. Oh, hang on. Stop request. Sorry, love. That is a bus stop. Right, my... Sincerest of apologies. Right, and break on. Let's look in this camera. <coughs> I'm a fan that the uh, the door open one and then the other opens. That is very uh, very true to life. And one should shut just in front of the other. What's this? What's the? Uh, oh, are you telling me that the bus is shut? The bus is locked. Good. Right, so we've currently got one passenger on board. Yeah, it's not the busiest of routes, this, is it? Oh, that sound is awful. I do like a nice little plod up and down, though, on uh, St. Savannah with these Ibecos. I think it's a, a lovely drive. The uh, the Iris Bus Crossway is also a really, really nice bus to drive. I, I think, overall, it's a really good collection of vehicles. I hope she won't run in for the bus. 
It's a really good collection of vehicles. This just doesn't seem quite as good quality though, which is a bit of a shame. Although you never know, they might uh, they might patch it, they might update it. This is lovely. Oh, we're back on time again now. I seem to remember, is this this bit where we go flying through the wilderness and we end up doing that little turnaround at the end? We've driven the Route 25 before, haven't we? God, they like a good roundabout over here, don't they? Oh, we're leaving Salarin. We'll just nip out in front here. Where we're we going, the Fonta. So we're going round to the left hand side. We'll stay in this lane. Because I think we're. Oh, we're not coming off there. Oh, we'll just stick in the outside lane anyway. When you're driving in Tenerife, for some reason, you never use the inside lane on the roundabouts. You always stick in the outside lane. It's a very, very odd thing. Uh, Lanzarote, some people were doing, some people weren't. So we'll, we'll just stick with the outside lane of the roundabout and go from there. It's a very wide lane on the left, isn't it? It's almost like there's meant to be two lanes, but they forgot to do the road markings. God, the local councils on these OMSI maps tell you they're terrible, aren't they? Well, do you know what? I'm excited for someone to get on this bus. Kind of feel like we're wasting a bit of diesel here. Flying up or down. And the good news, however, as well, I forgot to mention, this does come with quite a few little set bars, so you can personalise it, you can change it, you can have, like, single door versions... Uh, single rear door, you know, single leaf rear doors, double leaf rear doors. We've gone for the double leaf rear doors, and I don't know if there was a spec with three doors, one in the front, middle, and back. I don't know, to be honest with you. I didn't really have a look through. I just picked the version that was most similar uh, to the Lanzarote spec that we'd driven on, uh, that we'd been on last week. It really is a lovely place for buses. Uh, it's a fantastic place for buses. If you're considering, you know, summer holiday destinations, you might like to go for a little bus ride while you're there. Lanzarote is definitely a brilliant place to go. Right, let's have a look. Nobody coming out there. Seems to have been a while between bus stops here, don't we? Nope, we're back in Salarin again. We've, uh, we've kind of gone the long way round. I really don't like that sound. That that you can tell it's a, a single looping sound, can't you? It's absolutely awful. This must be a slightly worse area of town. The roads of uh, of all of a sudden become very terrible, haven't they? The oh, whole that sound. I tell you what it is like. It's like driving the Scania, uh, Scania Citywide on the bus. That had one of those looping sounds where, whenever you slowed down below a certain speed, it go ooh. It, it was truly awful. They seem to have made it a little bit better now. There we go again. Right round to the right here. Are we still on route? I do kind of feel like we're, we're a little bit lost. Don't mind the tree. Thwack. Oh no, the Fontaine. Retour Depot. So I know we, we are still on track, everybody. No need to panic. There doesn't seem to be anyone coming from the left. Should we look in, uh, we'll look in his mirror there. And Florix. We seem to be going onto a quicker road here. Come on, off we go. Oh, it sounds quite good at speed. It's very loud at speed. Oh, and all of a sudden your run sounds dis... Oh, that's not great. Ah, speed bump! Wee! Sorry about that, everybody. Sorry, I got a little bit out of hand there. Just, uh... Yeah, what was going on with those sounds? I don't know what was going on with those sounds at all. When it, uh, yeah, when you when you put your foot down, all of a sudden your run sounds came back. This definitely needs work. I'm I'm a little bit disappointed with this, to be honest with you. 
It's a nice drive, but just the sound situation just sort of ruins it a little bit for me. Oh, hang on. Don't go down the wrong side of the, uh, of the road, will you? See, these sounds when you're at load speed are absolutely brilliant. It's just when you get sort of faster that it all kind of falls apart a little bit. It's like a quiche in a washing machine, isn't it? You know, it's, it's going at slow speed and everything's sort of fine, but when it goes on to the spin cycle, there's just quiche everywhere. It's an absolute nightmare. It's a right mess. Perhaps that wasn't the best analogy. I don't know why that was the first thing that popped into my head, but, uh, but yeah. Yeah, real shame. Real shame. I hope they do fix the sounds, because this really does have the potential to be a fantastic bus. And it looks great, doesn't it? Right, we're going round to the left here. I really do feel... Oh, hang on. Oh, terribly sorry, sir. Ah, yeah, this is where we go down across this little low, bri little low bridge. And then we end up turning round at the end at Conlure, don't we? Lovely drive through the woods. Right, here we go, because I'm sure that I messed this up last time. Oh, yeah, because there's a bus gate that we can't, we can't whiz through, can we? There we go. Yex the 25 terminates here on uh, on Dimanche on the Sunday. But today is not Sunday, so we will not be terminating here. I don't think it runs all the way through to uh, to Salarim where we started. I think it's just literally this bit from here to uh, Verfontin. There we go. Green light. Out we go. Oh, there is a lot of people waiting to get on. Anybody? Oh, they're all waiting to get on, but not my bus. Oh, okay. I see the way it is. Right, well, we're more or less bang on time, so we'll just leave them behind. Maybe they're waiting for the 25 going the other way. They must be. Well, it looks like we continue to be a quiet bus, doesn't it? In fact, do we have anybody on at all now? We have one passenger. That makes it all worthwhile. They could have just sent a Citroen Berlingo, couldn't they, with seats in the back? Oh, we've, I, th I thought we'd slipped out of gear for a second there. Maybe there's someone waiting at this bus stop. There are a couple of ladies on the way up, weren't there? Oh, they're there. Yeah, they're not the quickest on the doors, are they? Good morning, madam. Yes, thank you. Not the quickest doors. They're definitely suited to be a uh, an interurban bus rather than a city bus, aren't they? You'd be very late all the time if uh, if this was a city bus. Come on, don't pull out, don't pull out, don't pull out. Oh, okay, well, I suppose you're going anyway, aren't you? So you may as well put your foot down. Or don't. Lovely area of map, isn't it, next to the lake? I think that perhaps, like, we've got the weeds here. It could just do with something down there just to kind of break it up a little bit. Lovely flowers. It, it strikes you as one of those places... Wait, hang on. Nearly crashing into a Persia. Strikes me as one of those places that would be just really lovely to live in. Like a lovely sense of community. Just watch that wall. It'd be great to be a bus driver around here, wouldn't it? Up these steep hills, tight twists and turns. And then all of a sudden the road disappears.
maybe we will get a few passengers on going into town. Ah, yes, I seem to remember driving the other way on this. The road just sort of does really random little things, doesn't it? It disappears, it turns into these little bits like this. Come on, break. Right, we... Oh, hang on. Colour of the road's changing now. Do we go around to the left here? I think we probably do. There's not really any other way we can go, is there? Oh, round to the left again. Round the square about. I'm assuming we go round this. Yeah, round this random bit of square in the middle. Oh, hang on. Oh, are you just... Is it pedestrians having right of way here? Is that what this is? My apologies, sir. I've not been driving in France very long. Hello, love. I like the little ping when all the doors are shut. I think that's quite a nice little feature. So the driver doesn't really have to be paying attention. It's like an interlock light on a train, isn't it? That little blue light that lights up. God, this really is a pretty map. Very pretty indeed. go over this bit in the middle, won't we? Never mind. Oh, that's either a hire car or a, uh, a learner driver. Come on, we're running late now, you lot. Because of your twisty, turny town. I don't really know how you're meant to drive any faster through here, to be perfectly honest with you. Now this is, uh, I have priority over them, and for once, OMSI traffic is- No, 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 no! Well that didn't work, did it? Thought I was meant to have priority over you. Oh, that'd be a nice shot, wouldn't it? Go on then, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll take that. Probably nicer if the arrow wasn't in the way, but yeah. That sign definitely said priority over oncoming vehicles. Flipping Omsi traffic. It's actually a lot easier driving a bus in real life than it is on Omsi. Because you don't have to worry about the traffic doing ridiculous things. I mean, usually, you know, people in real life do ridiculous things on the road, but like there, you, you wouldn't have had an issue if you see what I mean. Right, we need to uh, we need to get Azama down here and make up a little bit of time, don't we? Not so fast that, that they go, oh, the sound's doing it again, look. Every time I put my foot down, you get those run sounds. Dear, oh dear me. Yeah, they really need to look at those, don't they? Monsieur. We've got a little bit of a level crossing here. Don't look particularly well used, does it? Why do those power lines just stop in mid-air? There's nothing holding them up. Should we look left and right before crossing? There we go. Responsible uh, bus driver there. Mm. 
So the top speed's 50, but I really don't want to do 50. I don't feel like this road is... The thing with this being a coach as well is it's quite bouncy in the corners. I really do like that, how it's bouncy in the corners. Bet he had fright of his life. With us flying towards him around those bends. Oh, that uh, retarder sound again when I wasn't braking. One thing I noticed as well in Lanzarote is they didn't like to get too close to the curbs. You know, sometimes you'd be right out here, people would step down into the road. And obviously you can't really do that here because, uh, you know, the road's not really wide enough. But yeah, some of the curbs you were like, flipping heck, can I have a taxi for the rest of my journey? Right, there we go, we're out of there. Oh, it has kicked down. I wonder if this is out there. Is this a ZF gearbox? It sounds like it is. Maybe a ZF Eco Life. There's not kind of any uh, any distinctive ZF sounds, is there? But then you don't really get them with an Eco Life. Right, round we go. Through we go. Just missed that box of flowers. It's the best place for a box of flowers, isn't it? The middle of the road. Oh, hang on, we're going up here, are we? Right, okay. Right, there we go. Oh, stop request as well. We'd better let him off at the back, haven't we? There we go. Nobody waiting there. Yeah, I definitely like the route for this. Uh, oh, hang on, I've, I've just put the handbrake on, haven't I? It's a useful thing when the doors don't insist you have the handbrake on. They have their own little bus stop brake. You, you sometimes forget. It's not really suitable for this massive coach, this route, is it? I mean, it's an enjoyable drive. The, the map is really good, actually. I was kind of on the fence with this, because I used to have really... Uh, really big lag issues with this map but it does seem to have been updated and optimised it's a really nice little drive I, I can definitely recommend the map I think out of all the uh, the Halicon products the Iris Bus Crossway has to be my favourite out of all of them uh, the Iveco is nice but it doesn't have the uh, the ZF Eco map gearbox it has an Eco Life whereas you get more of the, uh, you get more of the wooing sounds with the, uh, the Eco mat I think that's definitely one of my favourite products that Halicon's made. This one just doesn't seem as good. Uh, I mean, I've mentioned that already, haven't I? I've, I feel quite let down with it, to be honest with you. So I do hope they update it. I hope they improve the sounds. Because, again, it's a really nice addition to the fleet. The little fleet of uh, Ibeco and Iris Bus buses. Right, do we, do we just drive across this? Does it not matter? They love the road signs, don't they? They love their white paint on the roads. Oh, another ideal place for flowers. Middle of the road. Oh no, they're not flowers, they're just random bits of boulder. I guess it's a good traffic calming measure, isn't it? This last coming for the bus. No, oh yes, yeah, she is. Right, okay. There we go. And get them doors shut as early as possible. 2.8 minutes late. Flipping heck. Right, okay. Straight round. Seems like we're on a, uh, a bit of fast road. Oh, we can... Yeah, why, why are the run sounds not permanent? Why are they only there when I've got my foot on the accelerator? Oh, and brake. 
They come back when you break as well. Come on, keep going. I don't know why the cars sound like buses as well. That's a bit of an odd one, isn't it? Right, okie dokie, we'll, uh, we'll pick these two up. I'm assuming they're waiting for our bus. Come on, you can't moan, it's a free bus service. I'm not charging you today. Time, but we haven't really. I thought it's quite a tight timetable. Oh, somebody's head. Oh, you only get two interior views as well. That's not brilliant. Oh, the next stop's the park and ride. Guess we're going left here, aren't we? Not down there, though, because that's the wrong side of a dual carriageway. I wonder if there'll be quite a few getting on at the park and ride. It appears as well, the harder you brake, the louder the, uh, the retarder noise is. There we go, bob the handbrake on. Oh, we appear to have caught up time, one minute late. I mean, it's not brilliant, is it? Having said that, when we were in Lanzarote last week, the buses were meant to be every 20 minutes, and we waited an hour and 10 minutes for one. Roughly. We ended up walking back in the end. We didn't get the bus, and we managed to get about halfway back, three quarters of the way back, before the bus actually overtook us. But what it did mean is that I managed to get plenty of photos of buses coming the other way. Buses and coaches, that is. Now, uh, see my flicker for that one. I'll probably put a link in the description to that too. Nobody? Right, okay. This is a park and ride where there's no car park. Oh, there's a car park there, right, okay. Why is the why is the ride so far away from the park? I think do we are we going right here? It would appear so. Gonna clip the curb there. Wee, sorry everybody. You're gonna go, aren't you? Yep, despite the fact I have right away over you as well. As per the sign. Ah, we're just going, nobody's coming, are they? Next stop, Simone Vale. Oh, there's nobody getting on, is there? There we go, get that shut. It's a really nice feature, that camera. I do like that. Slam on everybody, there we go. 
Are we going left? It's, is that where we're going? I've, I've kind of, well, I suppose we can only go left, can't we? Hang on, where are my views? There we go, wrap that round there. Come on, sir, on you get. There we go. Bonjour. Bonjour. Hello. Oh, there's a few getting off here. Maybe we're not that far from the terminus. Seems a bit odd, though. It's just a row of houses, isn't it? Just kind of... Oh, no, I suppose that's a bit busier over there, isn't it? Like, more of a main, main town area. Right, off we go. Ah, there we go. It's just come up on the red text in the top left. The next stop is the Fontaine. Which, if you remember rightly, is where we're going on this bus. Ah, there we go. There's our trusty bus station that seems to be in the middle of nowhere. Is it next to a railway station? I always forget. Right, here we go. Uh, 25 down here. Oh, there's another Iveco in already. Is that a crossway or is that an Evades? Looks like an Evades, doesn't it? It sort of doesn't tell you. Yeah, it looks like an Evades. I wonder if that's new then. If they've updated that because of the new pack. I don't know. Right, well, this is where uh, the video finishes today. We're at the end of the route, the Fontaine. I do hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please do click the like button. It's always appreciated. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this bus. Personally, uh, I was really looking forward to it. I was a little bit disappointed, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily a bad drive, and for the price of £12.79, it's not a bad bus. Uh, we could just do with those sounds improving a little bit. I'd definitely check out the link in the description to the map. Uh, like I say, it's a really nice drive. The bus, again, link in the description there. But if you do have money to spend, I'd probably look towards the Halicon uh, Iveco Crossway and Iris Bus Crossway. I think they're a much better drive. I think it's the buses are slightly better done. Uh, you know, I, I think you probably get more value for money there. Uh, I, I don't really feel like I enjoyed this as much as I did with the others. Other than that, as I say, thank you so much for watching. Click the like button. Do remember to subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you all next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.